Welcome to Easy Living New York. I'm Aaliyah, this is Matthew, and today we're going to be doing a review of Elsa and Ramona in Brooklyn, New York. Alright, Elsa and Ramona are sister bars, pretty much the exact same bar. Um, Elsa being the first, which is in Atlantic Terminal area, downtown Brooklyn. And then you have Ramona, which is uh, a newer bar, a little bigger, in uh, Greenpoint. Brooklyn. The only difference really between them or the, the reason you go to one and not the other is really just distance, uh, whichever one you're close to. Uh, Elsa is closer for us because it's by Atlantic Terminal. It's probably going to be closer for most people, but if you live in Greenpoint or anywhere in that area, you know, East Williamsburg or something, uh, you could definitely go to Ramona also. It's pretty much the same menu for the most part. So in regards to the actual presentation of the drinks, a lot of very vibrant drinks are served at Elsa and Ramona. A lot of bright colors, purples, reds, even like the darker drinks like the, the charcoal one on the screen right now. It still just pops in comparison to the background. A lot of dehydrated garnishes, whether it's a lime, orange, you know, lemon. So a lot of real powerful, vibrant colors that uh, they, they serve here on most of their drinks. And in terms of ambiance, it is very welcoming, very inviting. It's very bright and well lit. It's definitely a more feminine themed bar. Definitely you can tell that by Elsa and Ramona, the names, they're sister bars. So very feminine, but also very beautiful, very classic and elegant. And do not get me started on the bathroom. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you love to take selfies, this is the perfect, <laughs> the perfect selfie spot. Um, it's just bright, once again, well lit and well put together. They always have a nice candle burning. Ugh. So we're going to start with Aaliyah's favorite drink, which is the Katie Cruel. So in the Katie Cruel, we have butterfly, flower infused vodka, lavender, rosemary, and lemon. So first off, I'm a big fan of butterfly infused anything. That's an ingredient that we use in some of our own homemade cocktails. So I would definitely recommend this if you like those types of flavors. This drink also has that lavender, which is light, and rosemary that's not overpowering. I always get a little bit nervous when it comes to herbal ingredients, but once again, it's not overpowering, very drinkable. This is a very well-balanced drink. Once again, it's light and sweet, and I get this every single time I come to Elsa. Yep. And then my favorite drink here that I had was the mango shrub, which has vodka, mango, lime, pineapple, dill, and jalapeno. Um, another really well-balanced drink is just perfectly balanced between uh, sweet and spicy. Um, that's really all there is to say about it. It's just a great drink, but it's really well-balanced. It's sweet, spicy, and I love it. We have the Handsome Grandson, which has gin, bay leaf syrup, pomegranate, basil, lime, and it is topped with soda. So this drink tastes surprisingly similar to a mojito, but it is a gin-based drink. Once again, I'm a little bit nervous when it comes to herbal ingredients, but the basil is not overpowering. It's actually just enough to be a little bit different. It's definitely easy going down. Um, I'm also not typically a fan of things that are topped with soda, but this was really put together well, so I enjoyed it. All right, the next one is the Weekend at Margo and Todd's, whoever they are. Um, it has Elijah Craig bourbon, oat milk, graham cracker, toasted marshmallow, Batavia Arak, and a Pilsner reduction. So it's definitely a lot going on. Um, to simplify basically how this drink is, it's very creamy, uh, it's a little boozy, but um, it's definitely a, a whiskey forward, or in this case a bourbon forward drink. Um, but I loved it though, it was really good. And what really caught my eye about it when they served it to me was the, uh, the fig. I don't think I've ever really seen a fig. Um, Definitely not on a drink, whatever, in person. But it tastes really good. It just looks really weird. It's a weird looking uh, fruit, I guess. But it was really good. It's an amazing drink. Definitely, like I said, creamy and boozy. Uh, you're going to love it. As an honorable mention, we're going to throw in their frozen drinks. The only reason uh, the frozen drinks didn't really appear on our best list, and we haven't had them recently, but uh, their frozen drinks are great, especially the uh, watermelon frosé, salted watermelon frosé. I love that drink, and I'm not really into frosé or wine or any of that sort of stuff, but it's an amazing, well-balanced drink. Aaliyah loves the painkiller that they have there. It's kind of like a... Uh, what, like a Pina colada. Pina colada. All their drinks, that, especially the frozen drinks, are really good also, so anytime you're there, if, if it's on the menu, definitely check it out. And a pro tip, sip one of those frozen drinks on the backyard patio. Yeah. So 
when it comes to food at Elsa, I would say if you're hungry, maybe eat before you come because all they have is light snacks. So they have like a charcuterie, some nuts, but nothing that could really fill you up too much. So if you're looking for food, I don't think this is the place for you, but the drinks will definitely satisfy you. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our bar review. If you're into mixology at home, Elsa has a great book that you can buy online or in their stores. Uh, right now, both uh, bars are closed due to coronavirus and the quarantine. But if you want to help support, there's a GoFundMe link in the description below. If you're interested in more mixology and bar reviews, please like, comment, and subscribe.